I don't know the rest. I don't know why that thing goes. He looks mad cute. Hey guys, it is Taylor Janice, TJ in the building. So glad you tuned in because today we going to talk about what we going to talk about. What we going to talk about. We going to talk about something kind of heavy, but that's probably why I'm tuning in all <laughs> hype. Intrusive thoughts. So I don't know if a lot of y'all, well, a lot of people experience this. In the past year or so, I kind of knew what intrusive thoughts were. And I, I've recognized with a lot of people around me, like my friends and stuff, we've joked about having intrusive, like, you know, you get a random intrusive thought that's like extremely inappropriate. And then like you laugh about it, whatever you get, you move on. So I always knew what it was kind of, but in the past year or so, it really hit me. Maybe also because of like, we are in 2021, the past year, COVID happened, came, still kind of, you know, beating us up a little bit. Very serious, but don't want to like dwell on that too much. It's just context to where this whole thing is leading. COVID, quarantine, being stuck in the house while also dealing with post-grad blues and people like loved ones dying and what is going on and anxiety about what is happening in the world. So it kind of just made it worse. Cause I don't even want to say that my, that intrusive thoughts and anxiety happened once we came into a global pandemic. I'm the type, and I guess like just a quick transparency moment. I've for majority of my life have kind of dealt with some form of anxiety along with anxiety comes intrusive thoughts comes overthinking comes just all that stuff all that fun stuff that we love to talk about i recognize now that i have for majority you know dealt with anxiety because i've spoken to other people who do not deal with anxiety i thought this was just normal i thought we all just overthink all the time and like this is just what happens to people and all of our palms get sweaty all the time and like we all just freak out over the littlest things no nope, i've talked to people who don't <laughs> they're just cruising i don't like y'all i wish i could be like y'all a little bit more but anyways i think in that season in the past year there was so much more attention given to the negative thinking because i was home more because you have more time on your hands because you're not distracted by going out and being around people and like socializing and we need each other we need people because we want to be on the same page when we are talking about a term and we want to have the same working definition intrusive thoughts can be defined as unwanted and involuntary thoughts that are usually disturbing in nature these thoughts may become stuck in your mind and they can become frequent or become upsetting for people and they can they have the potential to cause great distress i think that's kind of like on the extreme because everyone i think to some degree from what i understand and from talking to people experiences a level of intrusive thoughts on a minor scale like everyone has involuntary unwanted thoughts randomly it just is what it is this is the world that we live in when it becomes off of the deep end of intrusive thinking intrusive thoughts rather it's when you become stuck on these thoughts and they become very concerning they cause you distress they cause you panic you begin to overthink that's when it really becomes a problem because now you've allowed something to get stuck so a way that i've begun to think about my thoughts recently has really been um very what's the word a lot of people and even i used to think of my thoughts as the truth if i thought it that means it's me right like i thought it is a part of me but i've started to think of thoughts that they're not always true one two they're not even always what you want to think about like your thoughts are actually not always you our brains are just weird our brains just think of things and our brains are so easily influenced as much as we don't want to admit it they're so easily influenced by all the things that we put in it tv books movies people friends the things that we hear that we don't even think we hear consciously but our brain hears it you ever been having a dream and you're sleeping and people are talking around you and you dream what 
someone was talking about, but you don't even know that you heard it. Our brains are constantly like receiving stuff. So that's something that I've had to learn because you have to be so strategic sometimes with your mind and with your thoughts. The Bible talks about taking thoughts captive under the authority of Jesus Christ, under the authority of the truth of the word. Why? Why does it say that? The Bible talks about renewing your mind. Why? Because our minds need to be renewed. <laughs> and oftentimes on a daily basis, we think as believers, as Christians, like, oh, I'm transformed now. I'm delivered. Woo. I'm never going to think about that again. Some people that happens to great. Some people say the taste of cigarettes just removes from their mouth just overnight completely transformed that's beautiful that's a beautiful testimony and i believe it but that's not everyone's testimony and unfortunately we still live in a world where we struggle and we fall and this flesh this skin suit we in as pretty as we may be it's still we in the world we not of the world but we here and we're influenced every day by things including our minds including our brains so a tactic that i've begun to think about and try to use more often is thoughts are like planes they just fly by they just flying on by just picture a sky picture planes flying and you can't control what flies by but you can control what lands i'm gonna just keep it real i've seen myself like a little a little spiritual rambo up in here okay like i'm out here seeing stuff fly by i get a, a negative thought it could be you're not good enough why are you doing that you're not intelligent enough to do that you're not pretty enough you're not smart enough you can't why would you talk to that person they don't like you it can be anything that is against your calling against where you're supposed to be it can be a thought meant to tempt you dang that person kind of look good today no cut it out so what you gonna do you gonna shoot that thought down that plane is not gonna land even if it does don't be mad at yourself because this is every day every day i gotta do this to myself just because you let a thought land just because you've allowed yourself to ruminate on something that you know you're not supposed to it's not too late turn it back dang i know i shouldn't have given that thought more attention i know that wasn't good for me now i wasted a whole hour thinking about something that was not beneficial to me that was not fruitful to me at all you know when a thought wasn't helpful when you've noticed time has gone by and it's done nothing for you instead of bring you lower so you let it land now what do you do you send it back out you can still shoot it down you can still shoot it <laughs> shoot it away <laughs> and retrain your mind all over again i've literally sat experienced that and then prayed immediately like there were times where i didn't even want to pray because i was like dang god i let you down I know I shouldn't have been thinking about that. I know I shouldn't have been, you know, so easily discouraged or so easily distracted. Distracted. I'll be embarrassed to go to God because I'm like, he looking down on me. I can't even hide. <laughs> can't hide about it but I've, I've learned that that's exactly what those thoughts want you to do that's exactly the effect it should have on you so i'll pray i'm like dang god i messed up again again <laughs> we had the same conversation yesterday and that's what turning it around and that's what repentance is that's what picking yourself like getting back up saying all right i messed up i'm gonna do better tomorrow so the whole rant <laughs> on um intrusive thoughts and i'm sure there will probably be more videos on this because it's just like so much to talk about there's so much that i've learned and so much that i've heard from other people that other people have learned i hope that this was helpful or insightful in some way to you guys yeah don't take every thought so seriously guys i know that sounds really counter-cultural but you're not your thoughts you're not. You can choose what thoughts you cling on to and what thoughts you don't, what thoughts you shut down, what thoughts you have to shoot down aggressively and say, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to think that way. I'm going to choose to be joyful today. I'm going to choose to think good thoughts. I'm going to choose to fight back, argue back with yourself. You don't have to succumb to that. And it's not easy. It's not a quick transformation. For me personally, this is an everyday thing every day i gotta wake up and say thank you god for this new day thank you that i get to hear the birds chirping and see the sun come up and i have a new day to start over and make this day good and be who i can be during this day so you're not every thought that crosses your mind you don't have to allow it to bring you down and thank you guys for tuning in thanks for being here today and leave a comment uh message me if you know you want to talk some more peace and love and hope to see you guys at the next one Oh, 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 oh,